Hello and welcome to another video by the Hoylake Computer Club. I'm Tom for the Hoylake Computer Club and I'm going to be going over some stuff in this video. The video what we're going to do today is going to be me installing another Linux distro. Um, the one that I'm going to go with for this one is going to be um, the Parrot OS HDB edition. Um, just for a, why not. So, so at the moment I've already installed a few operating systems on this same box. This is that um, Lenovo Think Center E73. It's got eight gig of RAM and a st standard sort of platter-based hard drive, um, uh, which has about I think 1.5 terabytes of space. So I'm going to do a fresh install of um, Parrot OS on this box now. So for this, I am capturing the actual HDMI output of the machine on another machine so we get the full turning it on and looking at the BIOS and so on and so forth and installing the operating system. So let's jump on in to do that. So I'm going to restart this machine uh, with the uh, USB pen drive that happens to have my Linux OS installs on so that we can kind of start installing things. So let's put the pen drive in. Let's do a reboot. So we'll restart the computer, start button bash uh, F12 once we get started so that we can actually tell it to boot off the pen drive. There we go. Legacy Kingston Data Traveler, that's the one. This will give us a Yumi um, prompt. So I can like, just say Linux ISOs and choose the ISO I want, which is going to be the Parrot HDB Edition 5.3 and boot in normal mode. So here we're going to try slash install the Parrot OS system. So again this requires a bare minimum of about 4 gig of RAM uh, to install and run but if you have a little bit less than that you kind of get away with it just moaning at you and letting you know that uh, you should have 4 gig minimum. Uh, I got to this point because I've had a few systems with 4 gig in and it registers a 3.9 something and sometimes Parrot likes to go no you don't have 4 gig so you know you should have 4 gig. Uh, this system's got 8 gig in so this shouldn't be a problem for it at all. So we're almost to desktop, that was quite nippy and fast, that was pretty cool. So let's see, we want to install, so install Parrot OS, I'm just going to double click on that. We've got the uh, Calmaris uh, installer, and it's Parrot OS 5.3 Lectuara. Uh, I'm going to change from American English to British English. Click Next. I'm going to tell you that we're in London or somewhere in England. Next. Uh, we're using a UK keyboard, default, that's fine. Next. Now, we're going to erase the entire disk. Remember that if you have an operating system or something on your drive that you're doing this with, this will delete everything. So make sure you back up anything you want to keep before attempting anything like this. I'm going to go with no swap this time around, so it's not going to bash the hard drive to try to use for the RAM. Since it's got 8 gig in there and 4 gigs minimum, it should be okay. Your mileage may vary, so feel free to add swap if you feel you need it. I'm going to go next. Let's put the name of this as Parrot, um, and then password as super secret password, and then next. So it gives you like a um, just an overview of what it's doing: the location, the keyboard, the partitions, and so on. So I'm just going to install that. Uh, basically, it's about to make a change to your disk. This is the last time it's going to ask you anything. So if you are unsure about your backup or whatever, go back now. I'm happy with getting rid of absolutely everything that's on the drive, so I've got no problem. I'm going to click install now. And that starts off the installation. We're creating the partitions and getting all the bits and pieces ready, and then it's going to start copying over the files. So this is going to take a little while, so what we're going to do is we're going to stop while we wait for it to do, and then I'll be back as soon as this hits like the 100% mark. Okay, that's uh, finished copying those files over, so it's 
said all done so literally we can just restart it now so right click done it's going to restart during this time once it gets to the turn off stage of restarting i'm going to pop the um actual usb pen drive out and then we're going to let it start up into parrot and this is actually running off the hard drive now so it'd be interesting to see how long it takes to boot to desktop got a nice little splash screen there Let's see. Okay, still booting. We have a mouse. It's a good sign. We now have the login screen. Great. So let's log in with my super secret password. <laughs> and let's see. On, there we go we're on desktop it's not not the fastest of the fast but for, for actual hard drive i think it's quite good uh, let's look can we zoom in okay on that yeah that's fine so we now have parrot at parrot <laughs> now a couple of things that you may want to do once installing any general operating system is maybe do updates and stuff and make sure it's all up to date and things like that so i'm going to do a sudo apt update my super secret password uh, okay so let's look uh, 149 packages can be upgraded okay so that, that may take some time so what we're going to do is we're going to start the upgrade and then uh, we'll come back once it's done so let's start the upgrade so it's going to be sudo apt upgrade dash y and then press y there Okay, so it's, it's starting doing the download of the bits and pieces and it's getting ready to start. So what we'll do is we'll leave that going and we'll be back as soon as that's finished. And then that'll be pretty much an updated and upgraded system ready to start using it. All right, so that's finished doing the updates and the upgrade. We've got some bits to auto remove, which are usually things that it's no longer using. So we can actually do a sudo apt auto remove and given us a super secret password and say yes. That's just going to remove the stuff that we don't need. So now we're completely up to date and upgrading on the system. So that's that's kind of your first sort of port of call. So now we have uh, the Parrot OS installed which is great. We'll be doing other videos on using it and utilizing stuff and installing other software uh, very soon. Thanks for watching. Remember, do feel free to uh, hit that like button if you like the video. And remember to uh, subscribe and hit the no notification bell just uh, if you want to get updates of what we do. Goodbye.